Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create a procedural wet material in Blender. You can get the file for a dollar through the link in the description. So let's get started. One thing that I want you to know is that you can use the shader in both Cyclus and Eevee and that you don't have to use a tiles texture. You can use any texture that you like because the water is going to be layered on top of it. For the lighting I am going to use this HDRI right here, I am going to put a link to that in the description. Now let's hit shift A and add a plane and let's also add an area light, press GZ and move it up and go into top view, press G again and R twice to rotate it like this and let's scale it up. Now let's go to shading. Go to rendered view. I'm going to use cycles, but as I said, you can use CV if you want. Just make sure that ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections are enabled. Let's set the power of the light to 500 for now and select the plane. Let's click on new, and first I'm going to create the tiles material. So add a mix RGB, connect that to the base color. Now add a brick texture and connect it to color 1. Also let's set the metallic here to 0.5 and the roughness to 0. Now let's make the brick width 0.25 and let's set the offset to 0. Now let's add a bump node, connect it to the normal and connect the color of the mix RGB to the height. Oops. I'm going to set the color here to a light blue and here to a dark blue. Something like this. Now we need a color ramp. Set the black to around here and make it gray. And now connect that to the motor, add another color ramp, and bring the white in like this. Connect the color to the scale. And by the way, if you want these previews here, you can get the node preview add-on through the link in the description. I'm going to bring this a little more in. Now add a math node and set this to 2.8. Duplicate it, connect the value to the value on the top here and set this value to 11.4. Now let's frame this, Control J and press N. Let's call it tiles, press N again. Let's also add an invert node, put that here and connect the normal to the color here, like this, and add a mix shader. Plug that in here, connect the color to the factor here, duplicate the mix shader, and plug the shader in the top here. Now the principal BSDF will be at the bottom. Now we need a glass shader. Plug that into the top and let's also add a transparent shader. Plug it in the bottom and set the factor to 0.767. Let's also make the transparent black. Add a noise texture. Set it to 40 and set the detail to 1.7. Plug the factor into the color of the glass and let's plug this math node into the scale. Now we need three color ramps. Let's duplicate this one and this one as well. Connect the color ramp in the middle to the mix RGB up here. Now here bring the black in like this. This controls how wet the texture is. I'm going to leave it here. 
Now here bring the white in and let's make this blue, light blue. Now as you can see the tiles are a little flat, that's because we need to set the mortar to one. If you haven't saved already then I recommend that you do that now. If you are using cycles like I do, you can go into edit mode, right click and subdivide. And here under subdivide, set the number to 100 for example. You can of course go lower than that, but I recommend that you set it to 100 because it's going to look better. Now let's go back to object mode and here type in displacement and go to materials and enable displacement and bump. Let's add a displacement node. Plug the color of the mix RGB into the height and plug displacement in here. Now as you can see we've got something like this. So let's set the scale to 0 0.01. Set the mid level to 0 and now we've got this slight displacement going on. I think this looks better. But of course you can disable that if you want. Now let's go back to layout mode. Press 1 to go into, into front view and press 6 on the numpad 3 times to move like this and 8 2 times to move like this. Now add a camera, Control alt 0 to go into camera view, press 3, shift Z to move it like this, go into rendered view and let's hit shift A and add an empty, plane axis, press 3, shift Z again and move it closer to the camera, select the camera and go here and enable depth of field, select the empty and set it to 1 the F sub and set the blades to 16. In the render properties I'm going to leave it at 128 samples and I'm going to use denoise. I'm using optics. If you have an NVIDIA GPU you should be able to use that. If you don't then you can only use open image denoise but I prefer optics. In the color management Go to look and select very high contrast. I think this looks even better. Now go here and make sure that denoising data is enabled and go to compositing. Enable use nodes and then just add a denoise node and connect these three here and make sure it's set to accurate. Save again and press F12 to render. So that's it for the tutorial, I hope you liked it, please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.